Hello, hello everyone. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I was just very, very busy this week. So, I've came back to you with some very surprising news. We're Today we're going to be talking about AMD Vega 10, AMD Vega 20, AMD Vega 11, Navi 10, and Navi 11. So, um, let's roll the intro. Okay, so let's begin with the Vega 10 as I have it listed on the RTF. Vega 10 will be released in the first quarter of 2017, which is very good because it means we don't have to wait too long. It has 64 compute units and 24 TF, 16-bit computing power. Vega 10 is based on the 14 nanometer, <coughs> 14 nanometer GFX 9 architecture. It comes with 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, the all-new memory that, uh, actually, I can't believe, but... Before, a while ago, someone... Before, actually, a while ago, I made a video about the RX 490's launch when we first found out about it. At that time, no one knew it was going to have HBM2 or whatever. No one knew anything about it. And so I, I just said it could be GDDR5X. And some guy was actually so stupid enough to, a few weeks later when we found out it was going to be HBM2, he made a comment on my video saying, You're an idiot, it's not GDDR5X, it's HBM2. Even though I perfectly said in the video, I don't know, at the time of video, we don't know. I just, that guy was just an idiot. So, anyway, so where was I? Yeah, it comes with 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory with a bandwidth of 512 gigabytes per second. The max, the, not the max, that just says the TDP. It doesn't say max. Okay, the TDP is currently expected to be around 225 watts, which is fairly good. Meanwhile, the Dual Vega 10 will be released in the second quarter of 2017, and the TDP should be around 300 watts. Remember, should be around, guys, not exactly. So that's all we know new about the Vega 10. Uh, hold on a moment. Okay, so the Vega 20. Now, here's something really interesting that none of us knew yet. Vega 20 will use a 7 nanometer GFX9 architecture. It will feature 32 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes of HBM2 memory with 1 terabyte of bandwidth. TDP is around 150 watts. And it comes with PCIe Express 4.0. It will also have 64 compute units. Now, did you hear that? This one is going to be... Vega 20 is going to be better than Vega 10. Smaller, better, and more powerful. And it's only going to use 150 watts. Okay, so just in case you guys didn't know, GFX 10... It's an internal code name for architecture. For instance, the Hawaii architecture was GFX 7 and Polaris was G GFX 8. So the new one is just going to be GFX 9. Okay? Okay, now the Vega 11, Navi 10, and Ma Navi 11 news. We've also learned that AMD is planning to replace Polaris 10 with 11 next year. The specs were not released, and we can only expect Vega 11 to share some fabrication node with Vega 10. If the article I'm reading this from has correct information, then Navi 10 and 11 are currently planned for 2019, which means we have to wait a long, 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 long time. Okay, guys, so I'll try and keep you updated on this, on, on tech news, as much as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't forget to drop a like dislike or hit that subscribe button make sure you comment your opinions down below but don't act like that idiot i talked about and check the links in the video description for my sponsors like origin pc which is my only current sponsor see you guys in the next video bye